I think they ask the average person, they don't know the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. I certainly don't know, but I do have my friend Mark from Eon Reality to help explain that. Mark, what, what is the difference? Well, virtual reality is where you're creating a, uh, an artificial world, a new world for people to explore and have different experiences. Uh, augmented reality is where you're taking the world as we see it right now and overlaying uh, information, uh, infographics, uh, a 3D experience on top of kind of the real world. So is that like a heads-up display type of uh, interaction that's happening? The, kind of like a heads-up display, but more more interactive. A heads-up display is kind of like, you know, your speed on a, in a car or, you know, how fast you're running. Uh, augmented reality can be a number of different different things like uh, you look at the back of a product packaging and you get information popping up about how to use the product, you know, what kind of recipes you should be using this this kind of uh, sausage or meat or whatever for, uh, you know, different ways for a lady to put on makeup when you look at the back of a makeup package. Those are the kind of things that augmented reality would bring to the table. Uh, way different than a heads up display. Well, the, the potential seems like endless over the here. Now, I understand that you did a partnership with Epson. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. So we're here uh, at CES, partnered with Epson, kind of showing uh, some of our applications for uh, knowledge transfer for education uh, here with their Moverio smart glasses. And uh, it's, it's a really exciting opportunity for us because the glasses are pretty, pretty incredible. They have a dual view, so you can get 3D uh, rather than just like the single heads-up display that some of the smart glasses uh, that are showcased here do. So basically, Eon Reality is kind of creating the, that augmented reality inside the glasses. Absolutely. We're, we're creating the apps and the software that power or the augmented reality for the Epson Movera smart glasses. Now, is this like a prototype kind of technology or are we going to actually see people use this in 2015? Uh, you know, I, I, I think that you're going to see enthusiasts in very uh, specific applications being using it. Uh, you know, I think it's hard, hard to see some people with really bulky glasses uh, walking down the street on a regular basis with it. But as the technology advances and improve, improves, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be part of every, our everyday lives. And honestly, to me, in my opinion, the Moverio smart glasses are the best smart glasses that I've seen, uh, you know, since I've been in this industry. And it's, it's a really powerful piece of technology. Well, I think it was Google Glass really kind of opened everyone's eyes on what the potential it is. And I know the Moverio glasses, I tried it myself. It's pretty amazing. Uh, absolutely, and, and you know, to be able to get that real-time contextual knowledge of what you're doing in front of your eyes, this turns a human being into such a much more productive individual. And then, uh, you know, the the possibilities there are endless. You know, you don't have to look anything up anymore. It's just right there for you. Now, Mark, if uh, people are interested in this, where can they go to learn more information about Eon Reality? Sure, you just uh, visit our website at www.eonreality.com, and it's e o n r e a l i t y dot com. That's fantastic. So, I finally now know the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. Thanks, Mark. No problem. It's a pleasure.